both literally and, and metaphorically, I mean, both being here in chapels and looking up and seeing, uh, I would say, dozens of helmets. No, significantly more. An unbelievable uh, sight out here in chapel. It's great to be here with these two guys. And, and so it's also hard to be anything other than too excited about where the Chiefs are at this point. It's not just where we were last since for a decade. We actually get to see them go at it for the Lombardi on Sunday. That's a pretty incredible event. You know, for, for diehard sports fans, it'll be monumental. No matter what the outcome is, either way, it'll be talked about forever. Yeah. People will remember this game no matter what happens. The duel between the two. We're talking about, Bobby was talking about three years ago, the AFC Championship game in, in Kansas City, right? Right. And, and, and the coin toss. You're still talking about it. Down to, right? Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it, it, when, 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 you, when you put two story histories together like this, but the, even though Patrick is this young, it is story because what he's accomplished in three years as a starter is unbelievable. I'm glad that my friend David Blackbone is director. I had to pass on the chamber. I had to do this. Hey, 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 how about that? Hey, 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 so when did they let you out of jail? Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know it's that. I'm trying to get away from it. Uh, Jim, for for anybody who hasn't been out here in chapels before, can you can you describe some of your favorite bits of this place and and tell people why they need to get out here? Well, the one thing is that the favorite thing about this place is the customers. The customers are what makes it. It's, it's great. And everybody says, what's your favorite thing in here? I always say the customers. But it's the uh, largest sports collection in a restaurant bar in the country. We've got over a thousand comments. We, uh, I've got Bill Moss to finally sign the fifth helmet. Now it's going to be the price of restaurant. That's 20,000. But it's a great, uh, it's, uh, it's noted for the top 10 in the country and a lot of uh, sports illustrated. It's unbelievable. If, if you haven't been out here to see it, it is a sight to see. Uh, there are some trophies that I, I have to I have to wonder where you guys got these, how you got your hands on them, and, and if that's why you have the uh, the ankle bracelet on right now. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you said that. I didn't say that. Uh, how many did you steal? Oh, I stole them all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, there's, yeah, I mean, just amazing stuff on, on every inch of this place, including the ceilings covered in football helmets. Uh, very, very, very exciting to be here and to be able to do this show with you guys from uh, from such a historic, wonderful place. Can you, uh, can you, you I, know, I, don't, I don't want to pretend I don't know. I know you got a story in your back pocket. you got a story that you wanted to, to tell as we lead up to uh, the Super Bowl coming up on Sunday. The Chiefs are looking to go back to back. What what did that make you think back of? Well, that made me think back of Jamal Hunt. Jamal Hunt is probably the greatest man ever in sports. He did so much, and these guys there's no better owner than Jamal Hunt. And for Lamar Hunt, we were not happy with the Bowl. He's the one that started the whole league. Then Dallas treated him wildly, the NFL treated him wildly, he just kept moving on. And he, he didn't get mad and he just kept moving on. And, they, and he couldn't do it in Dallas and he came up here and started a new league down there. And he came up here and within, from 1960 to 69, he got into a Super Bowl. And by 72, he had a new stadium. And there's, that takes a great man to do that such a small, uh, short period of time. Uh, it, he's just an amazing man. I think uh, there's some uh, uh, like I said, he named the Super Bowl. Yep. Uh, so everything about the Chiefs and the Super Bowl is uh, more on. And then they've got great players like these guys playing on the team over the years. Well, you know, Lamar Hunt, I, we, well, he came to Minnesota to pick me up. Yeah. And the thing about Lamar Hunt, you know, he came up there, you know, and he's 20, what, 29 years old. He comes up. First thing he said to me, he said, Bell, and one, the reason he's sorry, he's on the league, you know, because he was going to get the Minnesota Vikings. 
and that the land is about a week before they decide to again we're not going to give it to this young guy what he wants to do he's coming here the owners of the national football and say no we don't want this guy and so he ended up going starting his own league and then he ended up Minnesota drafting me and he found out told the coach and yeah, I'm going to talk about the girl. He came up, I never talked to the coach in my years. Lamar came up and asked me, first thing he said, well, where is the ice cream place? He said, that's ice cream. And I said, well, down the street, University of Arizona took it. You know, he got some ice cream. And that's, that's how I, my relationship came with Lamar. And, uh, and after the thing is, so I signed with him, decided to sign with Lamar because he gave me the best deal. He didn't care what it was, you know, he said, we like for you to be part of my family. That's how you know. I want you to be part of the family. Said, okay. Never got a chance to visit Dallas, you know, because it was Dallas, Texas at that time. I never visited. And when I told him, I said, I'm going to get ready to sign. I'm going to sign a contract. I didn't have no agent, you know. I had a guy, Duncan Newton, out of Minnesota, construction company, you know. He did negotiation at Miss Lane. And uh, he said, I, you know, when he told Lamar exactly what he, I needed, you know, Lamar said, I'll do it. So he signed that, and I never went to, I never went to Dallas. And Lamar said to me, he said, well, what are you doing? I said, I got to go to New York. And I said, yeah. He said, where? Well, I got to go there too. He said, okay, let's go together. Flew to New York, flew to the Kennedy Air, I mean, the Kennedy Airport, you know, landed. And Lamar looks at me and goes, say, uh, how are you going to get to the hotel? I said, well, a cab. He thought that the people, that I was an all-American, you know, he said, he thought they was going to send a limo, pick me up, he's going to ride with me. <laughs> and I go like, uh, no, I'm going to cab. So he said, okay, let's go. He goes, get in the cab, and the, and the driver's driving down the road, and he can't hold his hand and say, you guys got to pay the toll. And I'm sitting in the back seat of Lamar. <laughs> Lamar looked at me and he didn't say nothing. So I had 15 cents. Had 15 cents. True story. 15 cents. And paid the toll. That's back in 62. 1962. I'm an all American on Johnny Carson, the Ed Sullivan show. You know? And Lamar told the guy his hotel first. And he said, hey, Bell. He gets out and said, you got any, got any cash on it? I said, I'm sitting there running, yeah. I run my window down, I run back up. I said, Whoa. So I get to my hotel. I jumped out of the cab, runs in, checked in. You know, I run upstairs. I called Don Knutson and said, Don, man, did I do the right thing? He said, well, yeah. Did I do the right thing? You signed with Lamar, huh? He said, yeah. I said, no, he's broke. <laughs> Lamar sent my birthday card, my 60th birthday. I said, oh man, Lamar hunt. I looked down. 15 cents with a tape. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, sir? Yeah, I saw it, sir. I've told that story a hundred times. I wanted that in my book. But you oh, yeah, yeah, but you know, I can't do it, man. The guy offered me 5,000 bucks for it. You know, I said, no, I didn't do it. Now, that's, that's Lamar Hunt. I mean, he's that way. And the guy is unbelievable. I, the best thing ever happened to the NFL is that Lamar. It's number one for the day. You need to get it. They crashed in number one, and they crashed in number one. All three of them played in the All-Star game to beat the three of Sunday, this is one of the few times they're open for Sunday. That's right. Great. They made a, a lot. Uh, they had a lot of good specials uh, for there. They got uh, uh, they got the special on the burgers and the sandwich, and they gave game day drinks. And, and they got a Mahomes Magic Mule. That sounds great. Mahomes Magic Mule they have, and. Uh, no, no, I didn't have that. I, I think I'll try that. <laughs> I think you should. Uh, you've been trying that. I, I tell you what, this, I didn't have a menu this good. This, uh, this, uh, I'm just this, this is a heck of a menu. I, I, I noticed you have a problem with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I noticed these prices. It's reading. Cheap. It's the price. <laughs> I, I would never have prices this cheap. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> They're giving too much away for so little money. Listen, that is as good of a sales job as I have ever heard for anything. Ever. Come out here to chapels and just rob them blind. Not literally. That's how they that's how they
they got all the all the stuff on the ceiling, but you can come out here and pay some great prices for some amazing food, especially this Sunday. Like you said, though, not usually open on uh, on Sunday. It's usually Monday to Saturday, 11 to 9. Uh, all sorts of specials all week long. But this Sunday they're open. I hear something's going on. Doors open at 3 o'clock out here at Chapel's Restaurant. Bar. To get to this point between Tyra Matthews and Chris Jones, Frank Clark. This team got an attitude injection with Spag and those guys. It's been a whole lot of fun. You're right, man. It's a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun out here at Chapel's Restaurant, Bar, and Sports Museum. Got about a minute and a half left, guys. Do you have a score prediction in you? Is it too soon? Do you feel okay? Yeah, win. win. <laughs> 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 Doesn't matter. Don't, don't matter what it is. Going to two, I don't care. Just run it back, baby. Run, 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 run it back. back. Bell, Bill Moss. Thank you. Thank you to everyone here at Chapel's Restaurant Bar and Sports Museum. Yeah.